So what do you think? Has Jeremy Clarkson finally gone too far? We're going to be taking your calls. And uh, first up on the phone, we've got to Anna. Hello, Anna. Hi. Hi, what do you, what do you say? Um, my son and I watch it every night because we've got it recorded. Um, we think it's a fantastic programme. I mean, all three of them as a group make it. You know, uh, Jeremy, Richard and Jane. Mm. They're, they're all, you know, together. Um, How far should you be allowed to go? That's a difficult question. But then you could also ask, ask the question, you know, it must happen with other production companies. Oh, I don't know that I'm it happens. I'm not so sure about that. anyone that I ever worked well, on. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But All right. there must have been instances where there have been. I can't really comment because I don't know the actual facts. Okay. All right. But Thank I, you. Yes. Thank you for that. We've got. Um, uh, the, the, it was alleged in a, a number of newspapers that the star had punched assistant producer Oshin Tyman in a hot-headed row whilst filming on location. One publication claimed that Clarkson had seen red after Tyman had failed to provide proper catering. We don't know that any of that is actually what happened. And as I said a moment ago, a source close to the star said he did not punch anyone. Mm. But obviously, to be suspended. Uh, that's quite a big move for such such a, a famous presenter. It's a big move for them to make. So, you know, I assume that it will be a period of time before we find out exactly what happened. Christine, what do you say? Christine? Hello, Hi. Hello Christine. What do you say? Hello? Hello? Hi, Christine. Off you go, Christine. Uh, what do you say? Well, this is an alleged assault, and we have to stress alleged. But if it is correct, and he hasn't denied it publicly, I feel the BBC has taken the wrong stance. An assault is a criminal offence, therefore the police should be brought in and the matter left with them. Then it can be proved guilty, innocent and taken to court. The BBC can sit back and wait for the law of the land to take action. Okay. If an ordinary person with very little education, money and prospects and future did this, he'd have been dealt with by the police. There's no, di no disputing that. Mm. But here we have a man, well educated, wealthy, with good prospects, allegedly punching someone. So yeah. why weren't the police involved? Indeed, well, it'd be more deplorable for anyone with this wealth, education and good life to behave this way. The law of the land is for everybody in the land. Too often, as we've recently seen, people in public life seem to be untouchable. Time for a wake-up call. All right. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. I think she'd written very that down. I and know. She was ready it's with like that. points of view. Which is very good. We should also yeah. point out that, the, um, <laughs> that uh, we don't know that he actually punched anyone and, uh, and, and the word assault has but not been used anywhere. The police anyone, are not currently it's involved. Not good. We've been asking if the allegation is true, has Jeremy Clarkson finally gone too far? 30% have said yes, 70% said no. The online petition Bring Back Clarkson has now been signed by more than 300,000 people, 300,000 people saying that, uh, that he should come back. We've had over 3,000 comments on this already uh, uh, this morning on, on our show, and the comment with the most amount of Facebook likes is from Catherine, who said, I like that Clarkson is outspoken and honest. If you don't like what he says, then don't watch him. That's simple, although that's, of course, talking about what he does on air mm. and not necessarily what happened with that particular member of the production team. I'd had somebody else involved in my marriage for a very, very long, very long time. And unfortunately, they passed away. If it wouldn't have been for what you actually said in your email, I wouldn't have two grown-up daughters at this present moment because I wouldn't be here.